Hey everyone, this is Kyle with Poseidon's Pets. This is my first video and hopefully not my last. So I have dealt with aquaponics in the past. I've tried running a 20 gallon tank with a floated raft style design and it was somewhat successful. The lighting output wasn't that great and had a lot of problems with pH, ups and downs. And I live in Arizona, so dealing with the heat year round definitely wasn't very conducive to growing vegetable matter. So I recently have been gifted a 75 gallon aquarium with a sump. And you can see behind me, this is my 60 gallon that I had before. And inside of it, I had my Oscar Indy. And since then we have moved him to the 75 gallon. And being from Arizona, our tap water has a lot of nitrates. So what I wanted to do was create a system that was going to be beneficial to the fish as well as not have a lot of nitrates in it. So I've come up with this simple design that I feel is gonna help me a lot with the nitrate problem and I wanted to shoot a little video of it while I have it getting started. So once I have it installed and everything is up and running, what I'll do is um, post updates of the water parameters as well as the plant growth and just overall happiness of the tank. So this is the 75 gallon tank that I have set up. It's been cycling for about three weeks with the original plants from the 60 gallon as well as some of the biomedia. I have some Amazon swords that I put inside tiny pots and have some flourish tabs underneath the gravel. Now the reason I put them in pots instead of just burying them straight in the gravel is if you're familiar with Oscars at all, they like to move stuff around. So, so far he's still getting used to the tank and hasn't really done any damage as far as uprooting anything or digging. And I've never really known him to be much of a digging fish. So I'm hoping he kind of just leaves them alone and that they, they can do their thing. and. They will actually help with the nitrates as well because most of you know with the nitrogen cycle, the fish ammonia, fish food, waste, and anything else that's decomposing in your tank turns into nitrites and then nitrates. So ammonia and nitrites can be deadly in small doses, but nitrates you can have a little bit of higher doses, usually in the 20 to 40 parts per million range isn't bad but anything over that is definitely gonna cause some stress on your fish, which can lead to disease. So right now my water is testing at about 20 to 40 parts per million straight out of the tap. So after about a week, I'm looking at the 40 to 60 range in the tank. So it's definitely something I had to address and I couldn't just leave it alone. So if you look down here, you can see my sump. Now the sump was gifted to me with the tank. I didn't build this myself. It looks like it is just some um, polyacrylic with silicone and it's been silicone together on the edges. Now it is a three compartment. So I have a diffuser plate inside this little Tupperware where my biomedia is. And that strains the water and helps polish it. And then the Tupperware helps to evenly distribute the water over the bio balls. So there's a bunch of little holes in that red plate and that equally distributes the water. And then of course it flows down here, aerates some more. It actually goes underneath and then back up this wall. You can't really see it because I have the plants in there already. But it creates a flow over that second chamber, the surface water, so that helps aerate as well. And then over here, there's another wall where it helps to create the flow of water. You can see it a lot better in this final chamber to where it's creating that surface flow. And that's where you get a lot of your water flow. So I'm running at about six times gallons per hour right now so that means that the overturn of my tank is uh, overturning at six times the gallons of the tank so i'm roughly getting about 450 gallons per hour with that pump and the head height i have some basic hose clamps on the end to create uh, security so i know that i'm not going to have any water leaks and then i went to lowe's and i just bought a diffuser plate that you can get in the uh, window section. It's actually not in lighting, which I was surprised. But this is just a light diffuser for fluorescent lights. It was easy to cut to size. So I have that over the top. 
And what I'm doing is I'm actually taking these pothos clippings and putting them down in the water. So as the pothos grow, they're gonna to help to remove those nitrates from the water. And then I just have a simple 17 watt fluorescent light in there. So I'm definitely excited for this new project and to see where it goes. Uh, I've done a lot of research and I've done this in the past, so it's definitely something I'm excited for. And like I said, I'll keep you guys updated along the way and we'll, we'll learn together. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these plants in that plant diffuser, as well as put in as many of the ones I have growing over there in the vase into here as well. So once I do that, I will come back and show you guys how it looks once it's all finished. I will talk to you soon. Okay, everyone, so I just finished putting all the pothos into the light diffuser in the sump. So I wanted to give you an update and see how it all looks. You can actually see that the plants go through there and then the roots sit down in the sump water. Now, I didn't want to put too many in this chamber with the pump just in case the roots start to get too long and I don't want them to get sucked up into my sump pump. And I did want to go over a brief explanation of the sump system. I know a lot of people out there just usually have the hang on the back filters. So with a sump, you're actually giving your fish more water than the tank can hold. So this is a 75 gallon aquarium, but Indy, my Oscar, he's actually utilizing more like 85, 95 gallons because the extra water in the sump. So it just gives a more cleaner environment, less uh, spikes in the harmful chemicals, as well as just overall better filtration. So. You'll see I have two return pipes in there that send the water back into the tank from the pump that is sucking the water up through that clear tube. And then you'll also see our overflow. So that is where the water returns down into the sump, goes through this blue tube, which is just pool tubing, and then goes into my biofilter. And of course the water gets aerated, cycled through the plants, which will help remove the nitrates nitrites and ammonia and then back up into the tank so that's it and i will give you guys an update once things get a little farther on thanks everybody for stopping by and watching my video over here at poseidon's pets uh, i hope you enjoyed it and i hope you look forward to helping me take care of my fish and watching them grow and all the fun stuff that all us aquarius like to do so if you would like to see more from me and some of my videos, go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. I'm hoping to be getting into this a lot more and posting a lot more videos. All right, everyone, enjoy the rest of your day.